I'm not at home. I'm somewhere to Norway, more south, at the borderline of the Arctic Cycle. And I'm going to show you a special place I've never been before. And it's really stunning to see. And this is only a short video, so stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it. I just want to talk to you on this short trip and short video. I have to thank you for now for following my content. It's really appreciated. It's I'm really satisfied with and thanks for all your support and supporting my channel. It's really amazing and I love that you comment all the time. It's interesting to read about you as well. Where you're from, how you're doing. So it's good to know that I am able to reach out even to the United States, India, Europe, West Europe, East Europe and it's really good, good to know at least. And I register every one of you that you are supporting me. It looks like a jungle here, <laughs> but here's actually a path to follow. It's not possible to miss the place uh, or to mislead the path. It's really easy to see. So if you ever be get here to Tonnes in Helgeland, it's more south in Norway, but it's still in northern Norway. So it's a really nice small village. We have a local pub in Östwan and most people have their cabins here and boats to enjoy the weekends. Looks like. can highly recommend to go also on the top of a mountain. I will do it tomorrow. So you will have some one shots it's really amazing today I'm standing inside the cave, which I then mentioned earlier before. <laughs> it's just amazing. I was walking up and down all the time to try to get the best angles. And it's just mind-blowing, this cave here. I can show you around. What is also really interesting about this cave, there are actually parts of the stones falling down from the roof. All the way. And it's probably why they are uh, stuck like this and straight up on several places like this one. It's actually quite challenging for my GoPro to do some footage as it's really low light and over there it's overexposure and over there it's completely darkness. <laughs> uh, I wanted to fly my drone inside here but I don't have a GPS signal and I'm not sure if I could keep it under control. I could have maybe some nice footage or pictures. But it's really, really amazing view. You see the opening, the trees and the rounding, just like a frame in a picture book, photo album. There's a history telling about this cave, that it was made before, for about 20,000 years ago, where the sea level was much more higher than today. And all the sea were washing out the low stones inside this cave and it was building this beautiful place. And we're also telling it's actually a path through the whole mountain to the other side. It's possible to go through. But uh, I see now the path is now only a small, uh, small hole left. Just want to have a small break in the chat. Uh, even if I live here now for nine years in Norway, I'm still surprised it's such a beautiful nature, especially along the whole coastline. It's 
quite similar many places in Norway generally you can actually do the same stuff everywhere in Norway you can do kayaking hiking skiing all the way along it's only some differences between the climber from inside the polar circle and below the polar circle where you can have longer summer times and maybe more stable winters I think it's the same along all the coast but the winter is not so stable since the Gulf Stream and the storms which is coming and pushing up along all the coast in Norway it's mostly if it's coming from southwest it's bringing a lot of rain and warm temperatures I think by car I'm now far away from home it's about I think it was like eight hours driving we came by a boat for my work and it took us only four hours maybe four or five hours if you have good conditions and not waves so now I'm finished for this episode I just finished my hike I have still a few meters to go down and here actually behind me I'm at a cabin or a cottage it's like a barbecue cottage I can show you we have at several places in Norway and this is actually open for the public so it's really nice if you could take your garbage with you and don't leave it for the next person And this is a cabin with a really great view above, as you see here. 